Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Sunday, September 25th. It's the 19th Sunday after Pentecost and it's week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 19 and 46. Hosea chapter 2 verse 2 to 14. And a canticle from Isaiah chapter 55 verses 6 through 11. And now please join me in singing the second verse of Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. All thy works with joy surround thee, earth and heaven reflect thy rays. Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, blooming meadow, flashing sea. Chanting bird and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Hallelujah. Psalms 19 and 46. And please recite them with me. Hallelujah, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Day to day utter speech, and night to night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voices are not heard. Their voices go out through all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In them God has set a tent for the sun which like a bridegroom comes out of its chamber and rejoices like an athlete running a race. It goes from one end of heaven to the other, and there is nothing hid from its heat. The law of God most high is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of God is sure, making the simple wise. The statutes of God are right, giving joy to the heart. The commandment of God is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of God is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of God are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even than much fine gold, sweeter than honey in the comb. And moreover, by them is your servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can find their own arrows? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep me from presumptuous sins. Do not let sin have dominion over me. Then I shall be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God Most High, my rock and my redeemer. Hallelujah, God is our refuge and strength, our very help in times of trouble. And therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, and though the waters roar and foam, and though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. And God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her early in the morning. The heathen raged, and the kingdoms were moved. God spoke, and the earth melted. God most high of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Come, behold the works of our God, that what desolations God has made on the earth. God makes wars to cease in all the earth. God breaks the bow and shatters the spear, and God burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in all the earth. God most high of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, 
as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The heavens declare the glory of God. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 2, beginning at verse 2. Plead with your mother, plead for she is not my wife, and I am not her husband, that she put away her whoring from her face and her adultery from between her breasts, or I will strip her naked and expose her as in the day she was born, and make her like a wilderness, and turn her into a parched land, and kill her with thirst. Upon her children also I will have no pity, because they are children of whoredom. For their mother has played the whore. She who conceived them has acted shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers. They give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. Therefore I will hedge up her way with thorns. And I will build a wall against her so that she cannot find her paths. She shall pursue her lovers, but not overtake them, and she shall seek them, but shall not find them. And then she shall say, I will go and return to my first husband, for it was better with me then than now. She did not know that it was I who gave her the grain, the wine, and the oil, and who lavished upon her silver and gold that they used for Baal. Therefore I will take back my grain in its time, and my wine in its season, and I will take away my wool and my flax, which were to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her shame in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall rescue her out of my hand. I will put an end to all her mirth, her festivals, her new moons, her Sabbaths, and all her appointed festivals. I will lay waste her vines and her fig trees, of which she said, These are my pay, which my lovers have given me. I will make them a forest, and the wild animals shall devour them. I will punish her for the festival days of the Baals, when she offered incense to them, and decked herself with her ring and jewelry, and went after her lovers, and forgot me, says the Most High. Therefore I will now allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, seek the Most High while God may be found. Call upon God while God is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to God. God will have mercy upon them and abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Most High. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven, watering the earth and bringing forth growth, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall be my word that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.
We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.